welcome to Electron Online. Here we have a circuit that at first sight doesn't look like it requires a delta to y conversion. That's why I call it a circuit in disguise. Because actually without using a delta to y conversion it would be very difficult to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit and then ultimately find the current through the circuit. So let's say that that's what we're trying to find. What is the equivalent resistance and what is the current through the circuit? If we redraw this portion of the circuit, let me do that over here. Let me redraw that. So I'm going to redraw this circuit and make it look like this. Here, this is the 16 ohm resistor. This here is the 10 ohm resistor. And this here is the 4 ohm resistor. And then the 20 and the 30 ohm resistor, let me draw it like this. Here's the 20 ohm and here's the 30 ohm. Now you recognize this as a bridge circuit. And then you realize, oh, here's the delta. I can figure this out. I can solve this by converting this into a Y portion of the circuit. So do a, y, a delta to Y conversion. And then you realize that when I take the top half of this, the delta portion of this, and make it look like this, I can go ahead and solve the circuit. Let's call this R sub A. Let's call this R sub B and let's call this R sub C. Again, recognize that R sub, A is, R sub A is between the 10 and the 16 ohm resistor. R sub B is between the 4 and the 16 ohm resistor. R sub C is between the 10 and the 4 ohm resistor, which allow you, allows us to find the value of R sub A, R sub B, and R sub C. R sub A is equal to the product between those two, which is 10 times 16 divided by the sum of all three resistors in the delta, that's 16 plus 10 plus 4, which is equal to 160 divided by, that's uh, 30, and that's 16 divided by 3, which is equal to 5.333. So the equivalent for R sub A is 5.333. R sub B, Notice that R sub B is between the 16 and the 4 ohm resistor. So this is 16 times 4 divided by 16 plus 10 plus 4. 64 divided by 30, which is equal to 2.1333 and so forth. I think that's right. Let me quickly check. 64 divided by 30, sure enough, 2.133. All right. Next, we need to find R sub C. R sub C is equal to, notice R sub C is between the 10 and the 4 ohm resistor. So it's 10 times 4 divided by 16 plus 10 plus 4, which is equal to 40, divided by 30, which is equal to, R sub C is equal to 40 divided by 30, 1.333. So now we have the R sub A, the R sub B, and the R sub C values of those three resistors in the delta or the Y equivalent of the top delta. I can now redraw the circuit as follows. The circuit can now be redrawn as follows. We have the 10 ohm resistor. We now have the Y equivalent. This is R sub A, R sub B, R sub C, and now we have the 20 ohm resistor down here and we have the 30 ohm resistor down here and that then goes back to here this is our terminal A and B this was a 10 ohm resistor this here now became the R sub A which is the 5.333 ohm resistor R sub B is now the 2.133 ohm resistor and R sub C is the 1.333 ohm resistor. And this is 20, and this is 30 ohms. Now this is a lot easier to solve because you can combine these two resistors. They are now in series because they share a common node exclusively. These two are in series because they share a common node exclusively. The new Equivalent circuit will now look like this. This is our A terminal, our B terminal. This here is the 10 ohm resistor. 
we still have the 5.333 ohm resistor. This becomes the sum of those two, which is 22.133. This becomes the sum of those two, which is 30.133. Now we can combine these two resistors. They are in parallel. They share a common node at the top and a common node at the bottom. Therefore, they are in parallel. There we use the product over the sum. The equivalent of those two, our equivalent, is equal to the product 22.133 times 30.133 divided by 22.133 plus 30.133. I prefer a calculator for that one. 22.133 times 30.133. Wow, that's interesting. I think I made a mistake. This should be 31.33. When I combine this plus this, ah, good thing that I caught that because it would not have worked out properly. Let's redo this here. Something was odd when I looked at the numbers. 30 plus 1.333 is 31.333. Now, that means 31.333 and 31. 0.333. Now let's go ahead and work it out. 22.133 times 31.333 equals divided by the sum of 22.133 plus 31.333 equals and we end up with an equivalent resistance of 12.97 ohms. That will replace that one. The circuit will now look as follows. We still have our 10 ohm resistor. We now have a 5 ohm resistor there and another resistor there. This is our A and our B. This is 10 ohms. This one now becomes 12, oh, not 12, it's still the 5.333 ohm resistor and this is the 12.97 ohm resistor. Finally, we can combine all that into a single resistor between A and B, A and B, a single equivalent resistor, our equivalent is now equal to the sum of those three. When we add this together, we get 10 plus 5, whoop, 10 plus 5.333 plus 12.97 equals 28.3, and let's leave it at one decimal place, ohms is the equivalent resistance. And finally, if we want to find the current in the entire circuit, Ohm's law tells us that the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance equivalent of the whole circuit, which is equal to 10 volts divided by 28.3 ohms. And therefore, the final answer, take the inverse of that, times 10 equals the current 0 0.353 amps. And that's how we do that. Without using the delta to y conversion, this would be a very difficult problem to solve. We would probably have to use um, the laws of uh, Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff's two laws, come up with a lot of unknowns, a lot of equations, a lot of algebraic work, but this is just a lot easier to do. So here's a real delta to y conversion, even though initially it may not look like it, but if you bring these two together into a point, now you see the triangular shape of the delta, you then do the conversion, and then you can easily work out the rest of the problem. That's how we do that.